Hey guys, it's Dylan Mix1. I'm here for a video on the next villain for the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Now, this is my opinion on it, and um, we've got no like. Don't just believe what I say. Um, I'm just here for my general opinion because you know there's no um information released about the villain, but I'm just here for my opinion and for um who is going to be the next villain. Now, and I'm gonna say who it is, like who I think it is. No, 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 don't believe what I say. I'm just saying my opinion and who I think it is. Now, um, now what I'm about to say has to do with the mid credit scenes. And, um, well, the villain in this movie is Kurt Connors, but, um, at the end of the, uh, credit scene, Kurt Connors gets, um, he's the lizard, by the way. He gets chucked into captivity and he's rid of the lizard because he got a cure on stuff. But Kurt Connors in this movie is working for Norman Osborn. And he was doing human trials or something to save Norman Osborn because he was dying. So straight off, he's working for Norman Osborn. So I think that maybe him working for him or something um, would have to do with the ending, you know. Um, because at the end, um, someone comes out of the shadows and says, "Oh, have you told Peter Parker about his parents yet?" And you know, I think it is Norman, Bo not Osborn. Osborn, sorry, it's you know I'm getting mixed up sometimes with Ozzy Osborn, you know, like. Always the two mixed up all the time. But, you know, oh, I think it is him because just the way he looks, you know, the, like the body figure of him and the way his voice is, it sounds like he might be Osborne. And this movie originally was meant to have Proto Goblin in it before um before the actor who was meant to play him, which I forgot his name, he's in the Slumdog Millionaire and he plays Rafa in this movie. Um, he, he declined to play the role. He didn't want to play the role of Proto Goblin at all. And, um, you know... If you haven't Proto Goblin in the original, uh, that is j definitely a lineup for a sequel to have Green Goblin in it. You know, because with the Proto Goblin, it has to have Green Goblin in the story, because the things what happened with Proto Goblin has to do with Norman Osborn. So I think they the original plan was to have Norman Osborn in the sequel anyway. And um, I think it's him, because, you know, a lot of the dialogue what Lizard talks about as well is about Norman Osborn, you know. But um, that's no proof at all. But I'm just saying that. I think their original plans was to have Norman Osborn anyway in the sequel, but I just think the guy in the mists, like, comes out of the darkness, is Norman Osborn. That's my opinion. Don't believe what I say, but that's just my opinion, okay? But that's all from Dylan the Mixed One. That's one of my weekly segments. Please subscribe, like, and favorite if you like this video, and see you guys later.